Good morning. <laughs> I'm a mess. Uh, I just stopped for my first tank of gas and first coffee. Somebody had brought up, well, actually a couple people brought up the fact that they'd love to see me do this traveling across the country vlog style. Um, I meant to start it off this morning at 6 a.m. when I left, but if you think this is a sight, you should have seen it four hours ago. I am right outside Roanoke, Virginia. I'm about two and a half hours away from my first official stop. Um, I am looking forward to walking around. So here's to the road trip. Now, if you're just joining me, I'm on day one of going across the country and back antiquing for six weeks. So that's what's going on. Okay, so my hair's a little bit crazy right now. Uh, one of the best things about doing this by myself is that it dawned on me, I can stop whenever and wherever I like. So I was gonna wait to get, I was gonna wait to get out of Virginia before I stopped. However, about an hour away from the Tennessee Virginia border on the side of the highway were two giant antique malls and I was ready to stop and freshen up and walk around. So I have made it to my first official stop. I'm at Snoopers Antique Mall. I don't know where I am. I was seeing if the sign had any information, but obviously I'm on Virginia on the side of 81. And I'm gonna say this, I knew this trip was gonna have challenges. However, I have officially run into my first challenge. The car is packed. I mean packed, there's like no room for anything. So. When I get to Tennessee, I might be adding a lot of stuff to my live sale because right now I was like, oh, I'll bring boxes and um, all my stuff from my sales that I preloaded along the way. And then I'm like, wait, all these boxes are flat that I'm gonna ship this stuff out in. I don't even have room to put new stuff in the car. So it's gonna be a little chaotic, but <laughs> what's me without a little bit of chaos? So let's go in. It is a beautiful day outside. I'm so glad it stopped pouring rain and check out Snoopers Antique Mall. This place is huge. Um, I obviously have to be a little selective considering uh, this is the first stop and my car's packed. I love the Florida tray. So I'm gonna try and pick up stuff that I've just never seen before and get super excited about and try not to get carried away. What is this? Scotty? dog pin and oh, and the little barrette that's so cute now i missed my i love that pin though oh my gosh um ten dollars let's see the little barrette i'm trying to piece it out in my head so this is just like a random figurine i can make a couple dollars off that i'm not sure if it's justifiable although i do like the size of it especially for shipping i think i'm gonna keep going before i get you know, before, you know, when I let loose, it's just starting picking up all the smalls. Oh, that's creepy. And not even five feet away. <laughs> that is so sweet. This little vintage deer trinket dish and it's enamel over copper. It's only $5. All right. Sold. That's very sweet. Oh, something tells me this is going to get very out of hand very fast. Oh, and I love the faux fruit Hong Kong probably those are so fun three pieces for $12 that's a good price although I feel like I could do better I think they're fun but the background leaves a little bit to be desired oh my gosh I am in trouble <laughs> I am so excited about this you guys this is really really oh my gosh so cute this looks like Lefton maybe Left in Japan, Puppy Bank, $15, 50% off items marked in yellow. It's not marked in yellow, and I will say I've had a little bit of trouble in the past with graduation-themed items, so I'm going to let that go. Let's see what else they got. This place is chocked full of stuff. Oh, and you know, I knock on the bisque sometimes. However, look at this little left in kit kitten bisque. Oh my gosh, with the little heart and everything. Oh, I really don't want to pick up a bisque item, but that is so cute. And it's kind of Valentine's themed. 
that would definitely sell. Hmm, and it is marked in yellow, isn't it? So it's only $5? I'm nervous about that. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna, I have to check out whatever is happening in this booth next to me. That's very distracting. Coin dot, 35. This is really pretty. This frosted glass. I will say though, um, wow, that's only $15. I don't really have the best track record with baskets, though that's really pretty. Although I see some scratches on it now. That matte finish frosted might be kind of a issue. Um, this is so pretty. I love pink opalescent. How much is this? I have to know. Okay, $75. I feel better about it. <laughs> if I were to pick up a glass basket, I definitely wouldn't pay much for it. Oh, and look at that. What is that? Is that a cat? Oh my gosh. Fenton. And it is a cat. And it's pink opalescent. $45. I don't know enough about that. Um, that's very cool though. And I really like that metal vase back there with the neon pink flower. A lot of really pretty stuff over here. Oh my gosh. I'm so <laughs> overwhelmed. But in like the best way possible. Westmoreland. I've seen, I've had these like time and time again. I love the heart shaped and of course daisies, two of my favorite things. Well, I did decide to leave the little cat heart box behind. I just didn't feel strongly enough about it to pick it up. This is very cool, man. Okay, so 30% off everything and it's only $25 to begin with? That's insane. That's so cool. And it's in like great condition. Oh, I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna catch my breath for a second and look around this booth. I don't know if I can leave that there in good faith. It's very cool. So I will say it is very clear to me that I am going to have to offload a lot of stuff in my whatnot sale that I brought with me that was meant for future whatnot sales. <laughs> um, the idea was there, it's just the execution might not have been that great because if this is my first stop in like a 2,500 mile trip, uh, I'm in trouble. All right, what is this? This is really pretty. 1850 Rose Bowl. I wish the painting on it was a little bit better. I love the color and the price is definitely right, especially with that 30% off, but it just needs a little extra pop for me. I'm going back and forth about this vase. There's something about it that I really like, and then there's something about it that I'm really uncertain about. So I think I'm gonna keep going. Oh my gosh, wait, stop, just kidding. Look at that. Girl enameled mini green bowl that is hand painted and really, really pretty. That is $6.50, a size I like, Contact, content I like. $6.50 and 30% off sold. All right, we got a green theme going in the basket so far. This is really nice too. Look at this, that's so fun. What is this elephant? Oh, oh it's check too. That's kind of cool. Uh, now I have a, a few viewers who collect animal claimers. Yeah, every time I turn a corner, it's a little bit more exciting than the last. This is awesome. I love the jadeite. Oh my gosh, there's so many things in the corner of my eye. See, these are $15. That's insane. I wouldn't be surprised if they're reproduction, but still, nevertheless, it's a great price, especially with 10% off. That definitely helps. Periwinkle, and here I am, of course, grabbing things that I said I wasn't gonna grab things that I've had recently, but it seems like the prices are pretty decent. This one kind of intrigues me out. <laughs> I like the bubbly grape pattern underneath, but a little to be desired, as I would say. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot going on here. I'm kind of, I think I'm gonna have to take my purse off and put in my basket this super tight space as well. It's really pretty. Oh no, look at this. A 
40% off everything but marked from, so is it marked up 40%? That's the question. So far, a lot of the booths that I've seen that are running sales aren't really marked up to reflect their discount, but this one seems to be, I know this is new, but I can't resist. I have to know. It's kind of fun, but alas, no price. Um, this is very pretty. All right, all right, so not crazy. Anything in the jewelry case that we keep, look at that. Oh my gosh, that belt buckle is fantastic. That's 40, oh no, it's $69 and 40%. The frog is 48 and 40%. Okay, so it is seemingly marked up accordingly. I love the rhinestones. You guys, I don't even know which way to turn. <laughs> Um, every time I look, not only does there become more, but this place is way bigger than I thought it was, even when I realized that it was a larger antique mall. Look at this butterfly pin. Again, contemporary. Ooh, 125. Koala! Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So, definitely spendy, but fun to look nevertheless. Look at that one beautiful vintage rhinestone bracelet with the pink inlaid rhinestones that's a 36 and 40 percent off that's really pretty wow this is awesome oh that's really pretty and definitely spendy now the wall pockets are what drew my attention i love the one with the deer and it's complete too. It says 1950s Japan three piece, 59. Ooh, that's that's a little spendy for sure. Oh, I see a lot of stuff in this booth, but I should probably finish off um, at least this aisle. It's just like, I really don't know where to look. Uh, it's really exciting to go an insane amount of new places. I mean, I love my antique malls in PA area, don't get me wrong, but I've been going to the same places for years. So this is really exciting for me. Wow, this is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know I can't buy it, but I had to point out this incredible Northwood. Wow, I bet that glows too. At $135, so I'm not about to find out. I am having such a grand old time. Oh my gosh, I love this booth. <laughs> the random frog. <laughs> Ooh, Amethyst 16. This is really cool. Signed pottery nautical face mask. Oh, I love that. At uh, thirty-six dollars though. There's, I don't think there's enough room for me as a reseller, but I would totally get that for myself if. It was something I needed. <laughs> now, there's a lot going on here. First of all, um, the Inesco Winking Kitty. This is uh, so cute. $59, though, is definitely expensive. $20 for the cat family is fair for retail. I don't think I could make that much off of it as a reseller. Gosh, there's so much stuff. Oh, ooh. Now, that's a really fair retail price. I love these vintage box purses. And that vase, of course, is pretty freaking spectacular. I think at $48, um, I think it's even possible to make a little money off that just because of its size. It is so pretty. Ooh, look at this. How fantastic. I love the little faux flowers in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume these are expensive. I see a lot that are reproduction mixed in there. This is one of the older ones. She's 37 and 20% off, but unfortunately she's got some serious condition issues. Those are repop. Mm, this one's older, but she's at 55 and still has a little bit of condition issues. What is this? I'm trying to figure out what this is. I like the black cat situation happening on it. Ooh, lots of pink and creepy dolls. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. Let's see, that's really pretty, even though it's new. Gosh, 
what? I know it's new, but it's really pretty. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing anything that's like really grabbing my attention. It's kind of interesting, but again, new. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of energy happening right here, especially whatever is happening here. <laughs> Ooh, I believe this is Austrian. That's really pretty. $30, no discount. Um, there's a couple of things over here that really got my attention. That's a 22, so I can't do that, but it's really pretty. I love the little picture there with the flowers. Ooh, that's at 19. That's a really good price. I don't see an additional discount. It's a little bit more than I'd like to spend, honestly. Now, I do notice this little cat figurine. $9, even though this is something I've seen before. It's in really good condition. Hmm, do I want to get this? Uh, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm being a little cheap. She was a little bit less, maybe. Uh, now I'm also noticing this tin toy tray. I love tin litho. That is so cute, even though it's got some condition issues. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Deep breaths, deep breaths. $25, dang, they are hip to it and it's broken. So, there you go, deep breaths. This is very hilarious. I think it's a cow, it says cat, but I think it's a cow. I also like this little jar, $20, ooh, it's a little much. And another toilet ashtray, I just had one of those, $10 as is. See the whirly cow, what does this one say? Zippy straw cup and creamer. That's so cute. I love the graphic on that one. At nine dollars, though, it's a little bit more than I'd like to spend. I don't buy that, um, buy those for that much, just because I do find them a little bit more common. I've had them so many times in the past. Oh, I really like the globe lamp. That's got some age to it. Some of these vintage globe lamp. That's really good price for a collector at fifty-five. And look at these. Those are fun. I love that orange color. Although I'm a little hesitant because it has scotch tape on it, although they're really fun. I feel like I'm gonna pull back that sticker and it's gonna take off the orange paint. So it looks like they honestly sell from like nine to $10. I kinda wanna pick them up just cause I love this orange, but I feel like they'd have to be actually perfect and pristine and they're just not even though, ooh, very unique. This is very cool. I think this is Italian. Some of these sell for good money. I don't, I don't see a signature though. I think $25 is probably around what I'd get for that after fees. These cereal bowls are super fun. The graphic's missing a little on them. And this is an ashtray I've had before. It's missing its chain. At 25, that's a little close. And the sip and smoke is cute, but it's missing its mug. So you can only smoke. <laughs> Part of a set. Hmm. What is going on over here? Okay, I see 75. I thought it said 15 from afar. Royal Copley. This is a fun one I haven't seen. 22, that's probably about retail on that. I will say one of the things I've decided I'm gonna do to save space in my car, other than uh, add items to my whatnot sale to clear some stuff out and just hope I have some shipping materials left at the end is to mail back my dirty clothes to myself. <laughs> I love the little tree. It almost looks like little candies. And this is a very cool box. Wow, I love the art deco style of that. $57.